eh, gana de oveja, ¿verdad? Y bueno, después de ir la democracia, expresar lo que siento. Qué linda definición. Así, cortito y tal cual. Expreso lo que siento. Democracy is the freedom, I guess. Freedom from imperialism, freedom from uh, tyranny. Uh, a democracia é algo que se constrói, se conquista e não se traz em pacote. Bueno, creemos que la democracia es cuando el pueblo tiene que tomar la decisión. Que el pueblo tenga el poder de decidir qué se hace, qué no se hace, cuándo se hace y cómo es que se hace. It is, it is as I often say, it's a process. It's, a, it's not a quick one, it's not a quick fix, but it's, it's a process. But you have to start somewhere. Derechos para todos, por igual, tanto sea mujer, sea hombre, sea niño, sea de la tercera edad, tener el mismo derecho para todos, como ser humano. Es la libertad que cada persona tiene para expresarse en el lugar donde uno vive. La democracia lo que tiene de bueno es justamente su capacidad de sorpresa, que permite que el pueblo se exprese y el pueblo, por suerte, no siempre se expresa como un eco de la voz del amo. What is democracy? Freedom, equality, participation. Everyone has his or her own definition. Across the world, over 120 countries now have at least the minimum trappings of democracy, the freedom to vote for all citizens. A major achievement only realized over the last century. I mean, as far as we know, the first democracy in the world, or the first political system to call itself a democracy, emerges in Athens about uh, 2,400 years ago, about 500 years before the Common Era. Um, and in some ways, we wouldn't call it a democracy. It was a small city ruling itself by large meetings of all its freeborn male citizens, yeah, which might have been about uh, a fifth of the population. No women, no foreigners. Um, no slaves, but freeborn laborers, freeborn farmers, freeborn shopkeepers, freeborn mechanics, ordinary people who were not necessarily well born but were just simply freeborn were entitled to participate in a large assembly that debated major decisions about war and peace, about uh, 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 public works, about new laws. Then it disappeared under the influence of the Kingdom of Macedon. But it really isn't until the beginning of the 19th century, with the American and French revolutions, that the notion of democracy is really reintroduced into the world as a, um, a reasonable basis for a system of government. And then, miraculously, and nobody can explain this, we, we somehow get the movement within 150, 200 years to where we are at the moment, where it is taken for granted that every system of government ought to be democratic. And democracy is a word that every system of government wants to appropriate. It's, it's one of the most positive and affirmative and good vibration words that any uh, um, political system can uh, um, have for itself. Everybody, even tyrannies, want to be described as democracies. Yeah? So this is a massive turnaround from this very ancient, the memory of this ancient idea and then the revival, which is relatively recent. But for many, this is just the beginning and not the end. After decades of U.S.-backed dictatorships, civil wars and devastating structural adjustment policies, corporate control and electoral corruption and fraud, representative politics is in crisis. You have a problem trusting the Democrats, you have a problem trusting the Republicans, so that kind of leaves you at odds. As a result, Citizens across the Americas have begun to define democracy under their own terms, creating systems which go beyond elections to allow for the participation of everyday citizens in local, direct, and participatory democracy. From Venezuela's communal councils to Brazil's participatory budgeting, from grassroots movements to 
constitutional assemblies recuperated factories to cooperatives across the hemisphere. This documentary is a journey which takes us across the Americas to attempt to answer one of the most important questions of our time. What is democracy?